to get your subs. Welcome back to the Grubs Show. Uh, we were supposed to do this two weeks ago, but um, we were disorganised. So we're back now and uh, we're going to review episodes three and four of The Test, the new Amazon documentary series about the Aussie cricket team. We're also going to have a little bit of a look ahead to the India series. Big special announcement about that as well coming up a little bit later in the show. But before we get to all of that, a very good afternoon to uh, Rambo. And uh, to Tom Flanagan, Esquire, who once again's got the wardrobe wrong. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> For those watching at home, great to be here, Ham. How yeah. are we, boys? No, it's good. It's good. Uh, Beanie, an interesting one to wear at the height of the Australian summer. Um, talk us through it, Flanners. Air conditioning's nice in here. So, um, yeah, went with the beanie. Uh, Company first. Get that big SB <laughs> on your on your forehead, which is a duck a drive-in movie, movie theatre. So, yep. you, could, you could sell a few brands up there, not just the SB. <laughs> yeah, but... And he, like and he does. And he does. You might see flooders of flooding your feeds with various products these days. But um, this is true. To, just to continue the fact that you've you've stuffed up and you haven't bought enough wardrobe, uh, we're going to give a little bit more away. We're going to have a look below the equator from flooders now because he's had a uh, a pretty disgusting mishap. I'm not going to look, but he's, camera number two there is going to get a nice tight shot of what happened to flooders earlier, and maybe flooders can just talk through. Yeah. Um, Exactly yeah, lift what, up that leg. Not, um, Usually, no, no white pants. Oh, oh, oh. Not the best start to the morning with the uh, oh, with that middle toe, it. just there, uh, copying, copying the brunt of um, a large object that was sitting out the front of my bedroom door this morning. It's yeah, not Jeez. the greatest look, but <laughs> yeah. You, anyway, you, we're here. You've left us with a bit of a cliffhanger there. What was the large object out the front of your bedroom door? Uh, it's one of those um, those dollies that you move. Um, heavy objects like fridges and, and yep. washing machines with, yep. and it's just left at the front of my door. Who left that there? Uh, thanks, Mum. Oh, uh, Mum. <laughs> Jeez, done the warning. Just by Mum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, R.I.P. But uh, oh, we always usually have to apologise for the viewers who actually watch this instead of listening to it, but now it's a double apology because you just had a look at old uh, Floating Gums Murphy's <laughs> toe here. Yeah. Um, and it's full discomfort. That, I can't believe that was going to keep you out. We actually got a text message yeah, from Funner saying. Well, do you reckon we can move this a little bit later? Injury cloud. And I was expecting it to be the big toe, nail off, full type of operation, yeah. real kind of Hannibal Lecter stuff. Um, but, yeah, that's a little bit soft, if I'm, if I'm honest well, with you. I, I, I'm a warrior. I was always going to be here. It was never a pain issue. It just looks really ugly. I didn't want everyone in here um, to uh, have to witness it. But, you know, it's, I'm, I'm here. The pain, the pain factor wasn't a problem. While we're clipping Flanners, yeah. um, you did mention that he's on every kind of platform, every yeah, social is. media space, yep. talking about talking to many different brands. A little birdie told me here in the sports, sports bird office, uh, Hammy, that um, <laughs> a certain idea was passed on to Flanners to, to execute. <laughs> um, we thought, you know, it aligned with the sensibilities of the sports bet brand. Um, and Flanners agreed, except for that last part. And he went and did the content for another brand. <laughs> Um, we might be able to throw to it at some point, but it was a pretty uh, – Kane here who does like, fantastic work with uh, yeah. some of our t- TikTok um, yeah. content out there and he's uh, recruited Flanners here. Done yeah. him a solid, I would have thought. Yeah. Giving you a bit of work and um, that's how you repay him. <laughs> oh, well, me and Kane had had a chat last week about the, the other brand and, and doing a bit of work for them uh, and I thought he was giving me an idea for that. Yeah. Um, as Which I, is w- what that you is- would usually do as a lead content producer at a brand and be like, hey, mate, here's a good idea. <laughs> Why don't By you the way, if it wasn't obvious, <laughs> please execute that for us. <laughs> yeah. Have that one. Go and use that for one of your other yeah. several brands. I came back with uh, a couple more content ideas, so um, apologies, Kane. I'll be, uh, I'll be. If, you, if you're briefing funners, basically just get your disclaimers <laughs> right. And, yeah, um, you should be. Fine. That's right. Look, look forward to seeing those content um, come to life, Flanners. So let's hope you brought your best ideas uh, today for the review of the test. Absolutely. Season two. Yeah, season two. So uh, that's it. episode three and four. Some of probably the stronger episodes, I think. They, Agreed. They left left the best till last in this series. We're we're in the subcontinent. We're in Pakistan to start with in episode three. Then we're off to Sri Lanka. Uh, in episode four, Flanners, which was, you know, um, get the passport ready because uh, it's going to gonna be a big one. So we, we kick off with the big news that Lang has been sacked at the top of the first one. Big bombshell. Um, had to go. But there's a little bit of PR management here from CA uh, with a few of the boys giving him a rap and how much good yep. stuff he's done and all that sort of stuff. Um but they still sacked. So, <laughs> um, you know, let's you, you can't you can't butter it up too much. Um, a little bit of messaging around how Pat is a strong captain. The, the boys liked his strong response there as mm. well. So they're getting around him. We're building out the Pat narrative. Um, the Pat Cummins era, as yeah. Jared Waitley said, maybe fifty times over the course of the last two episodes. Yeah, yeah. We um, I think we have him reading books in episode four. I think they saved that for episode four. Smart uh, yes. Pat with the glasses yes. on. Yeah. Smart Pat. Um, yeah, uh, beyond that, we had a little bit of a touch on as well because we had Rod and Warney uh, left us yes. at the time as well. So 
A lot going on. Well, let's, let's start with the JL stuff because yeah. I think that was obviously – I was looking forward to that the most, Funners. Yeah. Um, the and look, the sacking. <laughs> um, I would have liked to hear a little bit more from JL mm. um, because Good he just luck. has that real – you know, endearing way of talking um, <laughs> that I really relate to. Um, I don't find it grating whatsoever. Um, no, it, I would've, it would have been good to contrast that with some of the stuff that you were hearing from the Aussie players, which I think you mentioned, Hammy, was yeah. very managed, very well managed by CA. Yeah. Uh, an exercise in diplomacy, I was. think a few of those comments. Some of my favourites, period of transition. Yep. That's a lovely one. Uh, four years is a very long time to be a head coach. Nathan Lyon, one of the beauties. I think you scripted that word for word. That's good. Um, left the team in a better place than he found it. One of my favourites as That's well. That's good. Um, this is just beautiful 101 diplomacy when it comes to getting rid of a coach who essentially won you in ashes uh, <laughs> twice. Yeah. Um, and then saying, see you later, buddy. We just don't like you as a bloke. Yeah. Um, but that, that were probably my highlights. Interesting the way that they, uh, they sort of... Uh, with like Gilly and Haydos coming out mm. and going out to bat for him, and then the Australian players having that sort of PR spin on yep. on, uh, on the reason that he left. It's interesting the way they frame that, uh, and and then but he couldn't hide that Pat just really wanted him to go. Yeah, yeah. Just, had, just had to go. Um, yep. and he really stamped his foot really hard there, and it was it's an interesting thing to say. Oh, I've got some thoughts on that Pat Cummins area as well. I don't know if you do as well, Hammy. Yeah, but. You know, you, you see masterclass, yeah. um, usually creatives or, you know, whatever um, yes. period who are at the top of their, people who are at the top of their fields. Yes. Um, this was a Pat Cummins captaincy masterclass of <laughs> modern day media management. It was good. It was, I would say, the analogy of just he let everyone else say their thing. You know, Mitchell Johnson, you know, Matt Hayden, big surprise. He's come out in support of Justin Langer. Um, let them spout off, let them say whatever they want, let the media take the lines and run it and turn it. Um, and then he just kind of waited and waited in like a beautiful just timed cover drive. Bang, smashed yep. it through Prepared the statement. infield. Yep. yep, just pinpoint. You could tell his, uh, his players loved it. Yes. And that feeling of, you know, just as you stuck up for your mate, I'm sticking up for mine. Oh, Patrick. Yeah, he did it very nice. And even, in fact, he was so confident in his pre-written statement that he actually just p- printed out another copy and read it <laughs> in the chair for the Amazon yep. cameras because it was so well written. So it look, was. credit where it's due. It was, to use cricket parlance, it was um, when people kind of judge a pitch before both teams have batted on it. So it was all pile on, pile on, pile on, and then guess what happened? Pat just had the perfect response. Yes. That's, um, that's it. I am going to judge a pitch before both teams bat on a bit later in the show. But, um, <laughs> we'll get to that in a bit. So that was the end of the Justin Langer chapter. Uh, on to a new chapter in Pakistan. First time we've toured there in 24 years. Mm. Um, and that comes with its challenges. Uh, obviously, you know, they shut down basically these whole cities for the team to travel around and to play. Team not allowed to leave the hotel. So CAs say to the players, what do you need? What do you, what do you need? to enjoy your time away, to keep active, to get people out of their rooms, to get a sense of community <laughs> going. So we've got things ranging from, and you can guess basically who's um, you know requested most of these items. Um, the coffee machine, Marnus has probably, he's got yep. that in. Um, good luck to him. Well, he got through, didn't he? Um, border protection over there, smuggling all that coffee across the border. The Indeed, other yeah, this time around as yeah. well, yeah. So, uh, yeah, coffee machine, golf simulator, got a basketball net, a tennis court. Um, Call and an of Xbox. Duty. Yeah, yep. an Xbox. Your Jai Richardson's of the world sort of leading that. Uh, your Mitchell Marsh is their big, um, big Xbox fans. Not very good at the Call of Duty, apparently. We've Everyone's got their – Shoot at. That's right. We find his Achilles heel and it's Call of Duty. Um, <laughs> and I'm happy for that to be the Achilles heel of the Australian captain, just so we're clear. I'd rather, yeah. you know, as long as he can still hit the top of off and, you know. Controversial seven. statement to say that a grown man shouldn't be good at playing a video game, but, you know. I'm in your camp there, Pat. That could be a good, uh, good click, uh, <laughs> clip for socials there. Um, so that one. But now what I was thinking is um, off the back of CA facilitating to the Aussies flanners, um, what do they need to, to feel comfortable in uncomfortable circumstances? What do you need from sports bet, say, hypothetically, to make you feel comfortable when you tour the subcontinent? What, what, what would you like provided? Well, we did speak about video games. I, mm. I would, I would like uh, Shame War ninety nine. I'm not much <laughs> of a um, Call of Duty, but Shame yep. War ninety nine. I'm all about that big, uh, big TV would or you, uh, little TV. Um, would you play as it was played on back in the day? The whole innings, or would you simulate? Uh, I would probably simulate the bowling. Simulate then, the bowling, yeah. And then you just just have have a have a hit. This is with, controversial, uh, but me, with Mick, Mick DiVenuto. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Me and my cousin used to play. We actually used to simulate the batting. 
because we enjoyed bowling and tooling away and getting the wickets and yeah. batting was just kind of like, you know. Too easy. Too easy, I was, yeah. I'm with you there. I like bowling with spinners, putting a few guys around the bat. That's it. Yeah. I liked, I loved, that inside edge onto the pad. Yeah. I loved hearing Jonathan Agnew say, the great catch by the spectator in row M. Oh, you know, so <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to hear that over and over again. Of course. So, um, so you need, yeah, you're showing one cricket. What else you need? Uh, a, a box of oak splice. You know, the, the <laughs> Oak you know, Splice. The, the, yeah, we reviewed it last dairy, week. Dairy, yeah. reviewed it last week on the TikTok. Uh interesting product. Um I don't think we'd be able to get them over there in India. So no. um just yeah, a crate of the uh the you splice get a flavored oak. Mango lussy. Yes. In the subcontinent. I don't know about an oak splice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about um, an oak splice. I appreciate the cross promo to the other channel where you did the content <laughs> for us, but I don't know if I'll be taking a, a milk uh, beverage over there, but your call. What else do you need? Um Oh, I need some uh, sweatbands, some some headbands, yep. uh, some uh, absorbent socks. Um, I don't, I don't, I think uh, mosquitoes like these these uh, legs. So hands, you know, yeah. just, just very any... conservative request. These funders, I got to yeah. say, by the benchmark, it's <laughs> quicker to are, you, are you worried about budget here, or yeah. just the imagination uh, isn't quite firing? Uh, a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> Get that beanie off, mate. It's, he- it's heating up your noodle too much. Um, well, there you go. So th- those are some, fun, some for me. Anyth- anything that you reckon? I'd go uh, maybe like a personalised tuk-tuk. That'd be fun. Yeah. Just like your own modded up tuk-tuk so yep. you could get around maybe, you know, obviously traffic's a bit of an issue over there. But it if is. you had your own little vehicle, yep, uh, that'd be a bit of fun. Yep. Um, barring that, maybe, you know, we create our own little tuk-tuk course yeah. in the back of the hotel. That'd be good. That'd be a fun. Bit of go-kart tuk-tuk. Can we take this? That- take Scotty Bowling. Yeah, you can take that. Yeah, take a whole statue. Yeah. He'll, He'll be, be there. Take you one yeah. for you over there, mate. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, wait and see. Wait and see. Anything for you, uh, him? Because uh, look, I don't know. I think um, all those things that you just sort of mentioned probably bar the, the chocolate milk. I probably go with. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, what, what do I like when I'm on the road? Just like good, like just just the simple things done well for me. I'm not not fussy. Just give me some good aircon, you know, Wi-Fi, um, gym. Yeah, a gym. Yep. Correct. Maybe just, maybe just pack a little gym with all the weights, bars. Yep. Give me a cage, benches, and enough cages so when I squat go in there, cage. no one else is sitting in there, taking it. That's all. I'm, yeah, I'm a simple Making man. Making their squat TikToks. I don't exactly. Tell you what, Steve Smith needs. He needs his koala pillow with a satin pillowcase. I don't know if you mentioned all that one. He's carrying yeah. it through security. Cross promo um, there. Very simple man, Steve Smith. But yeah, he's a koala man, isn't he? I've got a note yeah. here about there's something about his investments in here somewhere. But he put yeah. he put like a hundred thousand bucks in that country and he turned it into, I don't know the exact figure, but significantly more. In the oat milk, oh, the uh, oat koala. milk company, oh koala, yeah, yeah, Cause, uh, yeah, because he's later he's talking about his oat milk company. Yes, yeah, quite so. the entrepreneur, Steve. He Steve. is, yep. Just Not churns out runs and um and cash, so That's it. get around him. Um, what else did we have uh, when we're in? Um, we spoke about security. Yeah, can I just mention one here? This is kind of in that realm of who gets more screen time outside of the playing eleven, and it usually goes to old mate manager. Yep. But the security guy, who's a, who's a favourite from season one, Frank DeMarcy, yep. takes centre stage again here and um, didn't he relish it? Yep. Obviously, there's a little period there where, like, we should probably talk about security in Pakistan. Um, Frank, do you reckon you'll have a... He's already, he's already seated up and Mike's, <laughs> yep. Mike's on. He's ready Before to go. Own. What do you want me to say? Let's go. Or he's any earpiece. Yeah, really leans into it, Frank. I like his work. I think... Um, he's good. He's, he's giving the team manager a run for his money in terms of, you know... Best on ground outside the 11. Yeah, agree. Couldn't agree more. Well, we, we do head in there after we see all the guys using their equipment that they've requested, a bit of tennis going on, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Uzi, this, the big story is Uzi. He's back at home. This is where his family's from. Uh, we get some nice drone footage of the uh, arena they're going to play on. Karachi, I believe, the first game, which is actually where his dad used to go and watch yep. a lot of cricket growing up. So very special. His dad looks like my dad, just with less teeth. Yeah. I was watching it the other night and my fiance was like, yeah, he looks like your dad. Yeah. Yeah. Got to, I'll get a side by side. I have to check with dad that he wants his photo on the, the, the sports the, socials. <laughs> the, the, the fathers of two Australian cricketing icons um, <laughs> look similar. Um, that dinner that the family cooked up was very nice. Was incredible. Yep. I, yeah, it was, uh, mouth was uh, salivating the whole time through that scene. That's normal that. for you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get back on those pills. Um, I noticed that Karachi, the home ground there, is uh, just off Burns Street. G'day, Joe Burns, if you're reading. That was one of the signs that was out the front. And then we're getting a lot of signage as well. I've got here of one of the most loyal sponsors of Pakistan cricket, death taxes and Pepsi signage see. in the Pakistan grounds. Yep. Everywhere, hanging off, rusted off, had been there for years. Must be very convenient. They've never got to change their sponsor signage because it's always basically the same. The same. And funders again would have been very happy. TikTok was a major sponsor of that series. Yep. So. Yeah, we love TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, anyway, we get in there, a lot of runs. Um, 
happening. We basically, uh, you know, uh, Kawaja, he throws a ton away um, in mm-hmm. the first dig, ends up getting one. Reverse sweep. Reverse sweep, exactly. A lot of why did he play that shot? Well, because he, you know, played it very well for the rest of the innings. But yep. the, 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 the big crux of it here, the game ends in a draw. Could have won it. Usman moved from catching cover back to regulation cover for two balls, left his helmet on mm. and overbalanced. So he's getting a fine for me in this episode for wearing a helmet at regulation cover and dropping a catch. Was that a uh, bad edit potentially? They still have to take, what, three more wickets after that? Still a couple. Yeah. But, you know, wasn't, crunch I mean, time. It was a sitter too. Crunch yeah, time. 100%. I remember watching it live. I might have even been with you. I was like, why has he still got the lid on? Yeah. yeah you're... Um, you are giving him a fine. I'll give him a credit to the boys for that pink and yellow tracksuit that he was sporting all the way the through. The Nike one? Yeah, the Nike yeah, tracksuit all the way through that Great uh, swag. episode. Uh, Usman, if, uh, if you know where I can get one of those from, please uh, drop us a line, let us know. I dare say Nike might be your best bet there. That's <laughs> 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 well, actually, you know what? you got to credit where it's due to Usman. He has turned up for both series, one and two, in some very fresh kit. Yep. Or his talkies to camp. Like he, he brought his A games. Other the other boys could learn a bit from him there. So that's why Slytherin hoodie I'm not sure about, but that you know he's, yeah. he's unique. There was that, a bit of Harry Potter theme getting through here. I got a feeling that there's Pat reads them all back to front. Yeah, team lost again. touch. Well Pat's you know, he's A one Julio, but he probably is a nerd. He's got the glasses. He's a Griffin You know, he's, really? you know, quite reserved. Yeah. Um, loves his books, so yeah. maybe he's a little bit Wears more glasses now as well. Yeah. He was saying in the car uh, when he was growing up with his family, he, he said, uh, all mm. his brothers and sisters in the back seat and they'd all be there reading their books. Unheard of. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, for incredible. a sporting family, it would have like been madness. It's not like the car that I grew up in. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit different. Um, <laughs> a little credit for me to the PR agency that handles the Warner's gear. Um, gee, haven't they done a great job over the journey? Um, once again, we get to see Candace and the kids uh, yep. and Dave and they see a little bit about the Warner story from their beachfront mansion uh, there at Maroubra, I think. Um, Just out of the earth, regular, regular people. And also the Dave Warner Journal comes out. Gee, um, Ollie, yeah, producer, has done some fantastic work back in the day. Those, those who are familiar with the oh, sports, yes. socials back in the day. The Michael Clark. Except the, uh, some Michael Clark story. I, yeah. I, I would like to see maybe what a David Warner Journal looks like as well. Um, plenty of interesting tidbits in there, no doubt. Um, but yeah, geez, if someone get their paws on that, that'd yeah. be interesting read. Absolutely. I did notice that as well, actually. Um, and a full credit to the trophy that you get in the Pakistan Australia series. Now, I know we haven't got to the end of the series, but yeah. that is a gigantic gold trophy. It is magnificent. It's a magnificent list of trophy there, yeah. uh, Mr. Cummins. Um, that is, it, it deserves a call out. I want to see more of that in cricket. Yeah. Um, Some remarkable silverware. Yeah, it's gold. Yeah. It's like a big, it's almost Goldware. like an enlarged Davis Cup, like a think big should, one. I think Proper. we should get the urn remade in gold. No, that, Ashes, so, no. Ashes is fine. Uh, Ashes yeah. is, is They have, they charm, get a big crystal one. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah just, as well. Um, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you there. Good good trophy. And uh, definitely a step up. I think a few years ago they played for one that was like a biscuit company was a sponsor. Like, remember Aaron Finch and that? I think it might have been Safraz at the time standing there with his like Having his cracker. Out of the biscuit. <laughs> it's like a big cracker. So they lifted their game, which is great to see. Great to see. Pakistan upping their game. Now they got Test Cricket back at home. Um, we do get to the end of the series. It's one of those epic ones. Three Test Series, two draws, and then gets resolved on the final day. Um of the final test, Australia end up winning a happy ending. A nice, as an Amazon documentary maker, almost a dream scenario for the end of episode three there, isn't it? Fantastic. Well, what was it? They keep uh, talking about all, all 15 days. Yep. Um, and it all came down to that one last day when the Nathan Lyon kind of cream rides to the top. Correct. After a bit of a pump up yep. from um, Smudger. But at the first test, let's go back quickly, there's a great little um, audio clip from Lyon saying, um, that's the worst game of cricket I've ever been a part of. Yeah. Which made me think, what's the worst game of cricket you've ever been a part of, Ron? Oh, yeah. That's an interesting one. So many to choose yeah, from. Yeah, I They're mean, it's so <laughs> rough, really. Just like, we might just pause there while we There's go to the encyclopedia of Grub. F- I, I got, in, I got in hit, for 80, hit for 80 off four overs once. Yep. It wasn't, wasn't a great day. Um, At least also, it was over quickly. Also captain one day and uh, the, my bowlers did a magnificent job getting us right to the last two overs and I brought myself on for the last second last over and went for 22 and lost us the game. So yep. there's a couple there. That, Where'd they get your way? Uh, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't discriminate. Oh, a long, long I think balls. It's, it's in the same theme of Nathan Lyon, it's a, a run chase where we've actually been on the right side of it. So we're bowling second yeah. and it's clearly they're not going to get the total. So instead of just kicking them over, 
they've just kept us in the outfield so we can't get to the pub early and you yep. end up wrapping at about 6.30 p.m. when it should have been a dead set 4.30 job. Yeah. Um, and so – and that's bad because you've even won the match. Yeah. Um, no draws in that one day. So, yeah, that, that'd be up there. But That's tough. I don't know. There's uh, probably just a few go- – as a leg spinner, you know, you, from time to time, Flanders, as you know, you get you get the yips. I think I got the yips around the time Steve Hooker got him in Steve, uh, 20, yep. you know, that, <laughs> after that Olympic triumph. He came back and he was no good. <laughs> Similar thing, had a bit of a growth spurt, was all over the shop. There was a couple of days there. In fact, it might have um, pushed me towards a bit of an early, one of my first retirements there. So there was a, there was a couple of um, stints there around Melbourne in, in the Premier Cricket Comp where I probably went this. I'm just not enjoying it as much as I once did, but plenty to choose from, to be honest. A lot of similarities yeah. I've always thought between pole vaulting and cricket. Uh, so many. Another example there. So many. many. But that's 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 a story for another podcast. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to be a tease ahead after the Triumph and Sh- uh, Pakistan Series 2 Sri Lanka. What's coming up? We see a bat get thrown. Who's that going to be? Don't want to miss that in episode four, Flanners. Um, <laughs> that one really wet the appetite for me. Um, so yeah, if I can, if I can ask you very quickly, another question um, without notice. I noticed they don't have uh, episode names on the series. Yeah, you know, generally in TV shows, they sometimes the writers do something quirky with the episode names. Yeah, so I was like episode well, four. Yeah, yeah, it's just S two yeah. and four. Um, S two E E three. What would you call that episode if you had the uh, your writing caps on? Uh, I'll go first. Yeah, go on. Mine was the 15th day. They, they mentioned yeah, like the 15th that. day of the series quite often. They hung in there and they hung in there. They hung in there, the Aussies, and they won it on the 15th day. But that's all that matters in cricket, as you know. 1-0. Yeah. Series done. Um, that's what that. I'd name that, that episode. The worst game I've ever been involved with. Yeah, mate. that's good. <laughs> yep. The worst episode I've ever been involved with. It wasn't a bad episode. It was good. Yeah, that'll get clicks. That will get clicks. Yep. Absolutely. Or something Usman centric. I mean, it was his yeah. his yarn that one, wasn't it, Flanners? He was definitely the hero there. Good to see him going well. Kawaja goes Karachi. Oh yeah, mm. Kawachi, something like that. I don't know. Bring the two together somehow. We'll workshop it. We'll something workshop to do with the that. Goat and Smudgy there yeah. at the end. It was a yeah, beautiful brotherhood. Just. Got us over the line. I don't know. There's there's not a title in that. But no, but there's a theme. There's a theme <laughs> there's a to theme. play Again, with. Again, <laughs> briefs. We're working on it. Yeah, that's all good. Um, uh, yeah, so we head to, well, we start episode four with uh, Nerd S2 Pat E4. in the library reading books and stuff like Lots that. Lots of books. Yeah, he's a bit of a bookworm there. Um, Principles, Principles by Rodeo. Yep. That was, his, that was his one that. He said that's a book that sticks with him. Haven't read it. Haven't read the, that one either. Yep, but yeah. maybe one to take on the road on a future cricket tour. The first book I've read for a long time, but I'll uh, I'll give it a read. Warwick Todd's uh, Cricket Diaries <laughs> might have been the last one. Or <laughs> it was close to then. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently reading Tim Payne's autobiography. Ah, yes. Yes, How's Lessons that? Learned. Good, good. Do had a, had to flick through the pictures. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't go straight there. Captions need some work. Um, um, but, yeah, no, good, good. Very you know, Around this time as well, you get a lot of context and how you got the, the gig. Not a bad raid. Grub, grub Book Club coming then. Yeah, what absolutely. Let's make it happen. What else does he like? He likes History of Everything and The Greatest Show on Earth. There are other ones he says you must Greatest read. History of Absolutely Everything by Bill Bryson. Good read. Yep. I saw Sapiens on there, which yep. is good. Malcolm Glad- Gladwell. Very good read. Very well read, young man. And good thing because he's about to head to Sri Lanka where there's a lot going on geopolitically and mm. you know, politically, all that sort of stuff. So we get over to Sri Lanka. There's a bit more of that to come soon. But the big story at the start is Maxi. Maxi's back in the test squad. Mm. Your man, Flanners. Love Maxi. After a long time in the uh, in the outer. Is he going to be ready? Head is under a bit of an injury cloud, might not pull up. <clears throat> Um, so we're following that yarn a little bit. How, how are you feeling watching two of your favourites, really, Maxi and Hetty, uh, battling it out for, for a role in the team? Well, I was happy for who either got the spot because yep. I'm a big fan of both of them. But yep. um, on uh, on social media back home, I was really ramming home the uh, the Maxi pick him uh, yes. sort of uh, train of thought. Um, yep. A few raw articles just panning uh, Travis <laughs> Hill. <or laughs> <Hedy's on. laughs> no, I wasn't potting Hetty. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to find another way to get Maxi in without eliminating Hetty from the squad. But, um, no, we haven't found that. That was a great. Yet. That was. I'll throw it as something controversial out there. I thought that whole bit about Maxwell was arguably the best part of the whole doco. Good. In terms of revealing something insightful, something you don't see every day. The Kawaja stuff was great over the course of the whole yes. series, but that was fantastic. The shot of Head and Maxwell sitting next to each other after after Head had passed his fitness test. Yeah. That's as raw as it gets. <clears throat> Doesn't get any better than that. Um, I, I would have wished they'd had that with Usman and Smith when Usman ran out Smith and Harris yeah, Lee, um, probably, in that full you know, test match. Factor. That another good shot about that. I think when uh, Kawaji got recalled to the SCG in an earlier episode, and 
Harris is sitting in the background. They do a little focus. Pull yeah, Harris is sitting yeah. there, like, looking at him, going. They got those little. They got those little spy cams set up. Yeah. So you don't really know when the camera's on you, which is brilliant. There's a scene there where Cam Green's crying. Yep. Uh, obviously, Travis Head's belting his grey nickels against the, um, the cabinets. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was that was a bit of an explosion from from our man, which we love to see a bit of raw. Yep. There's a few blobs in this. I wasn't there, Smithy. I don't know what he said, but he dropped three or four f bombs in a row when he got run out by yep. by Usman. Um, yeah, something along the lines of like, "Yeah, good, get it run out on a wicket like that. That's real good. Well done, Steve." Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, which is I love that stuff. That's brilliant. Honestly, if you want to take cricket broadcasts to the next level, just get us in the mark sheds, yep. mark them up, yep. give us the full voltage, turn it up. Let's my, go. My favourite one though was got to be um, Warner. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, the, in the Pakistan series, I think he, he he was spewing about getting out to a bowler in particular. He's like, "Hey, get out to that." Yep. So and so, this one, he's batting his wide brim, gets out. He's yep. real angry. Gets back into the room, <laughs> standing there. He's taking his gloves off. He's got this little water bottle, like a sort of six hundred mil, maybe even smaller. It's comically small. He's just trying to get the lid off. He can't get it off, and he just turns around, and just piffs it at the, <laughs> piffs it at the uh, one of the, the cupboards. Yep. That was still that, couldn't open it. That's a fine. Yep. That's a fine yep. for, uh, for Davey. Fine. Nah, full one. credit for content. I'm behind you, Davey. Good content. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I love more than a David Warner blow up, so give yeah. me more. Interesting watching Marnus get out and have a bit of a tanty. He doesn't swear. No, nah, he said S, but he doesn't say Fs. Yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> goes with the old Philip Rivers fricking. Yeah. Yep. Wasn't happy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Smithy, I've got here, yeah, after the barbecue, he drops an Emily C bomb in there as well. There yep. was a there was a C, so he doesn't have the same strict policy as Marnus. <laughs> on, that's a differentiator <laughs> between them. So that was that. Plenty going on in that series. Yeah. Um, Sri Lanka having there. You get, yeah. yeah you get a bit funny in the head. Yeah, yeah it's true, and and yeah. and all the stuff happening around it. I thought that was they, they showed that with Kumar Sangakara. We see one of the great. Um, Diplomats of uh, yes. international cricket. There's, there's not a man out there or a woman who doesn't like Kumar. The silky tones on the on the commentary, yep. the way he batted, left hand, brilliant. He's definitely um, a keeper. That good man. sledging chat, you know. Yep. Um, that Sean Pollock video is still one of my favourites. Gets a gets a run on YouTube. Yeah, all time for classic. Me, but yeah, a lot going on outside the game. They mentioned it a few times. Not often do you go start a test match, and the world is one way. You end the test match, and the world's another way. Um, I guess. The only example I could probably think of was when we started playing a game and Slug had a girlfriend and by the end of the match he didn't have a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, that, that was probably one of the bigger kind of, um, you know, government changes. Uh, yep. might, have, might have been a dictatorship you know, <laughs> uh, that I'd ever seen in a short amount of time. Yeah. But uh, cricket does amazing things like that. That was remarkable, looking at that ground and all the, the protesters and stuff outside. Before the protest kicked off, I had a note here. I said, Gaul, it looks like a tight ass's dream for cricket because you can sit like up on that hill <laughs> at the top of it and watch the game without having to buy a ticket. Yep. Um, but by the end of it, like it was just full of protests. You're like, Gee, anything could happen here. They could swarm the field. They could do anything. But they'll yeah. pay- Kumar settled them down. He's yeah, he going to be peaceful. They're going to be sweet. Yep. They're hearing stuff. Goff goes, just relax. They're just fireworks. Nothing yeah. to be worried about. They're like, they're oh, just geez. celebrating. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Tight ass's dream. You got the beach there. You got the view on the hill, so you don't have to pay for a ticket. Yep. And then if you want to go jump in the um, president's pool, you can do that as well. Absolutely. Um, no charge whatsoever. Like around in the gym equipment as well, sort of <laughs> on, which is good. Um, so, yeah, plenty going on there. Plenty going on in that um, series. But it was good to – that was a good episode because you get, you're getting a bit of the what's doing over there plus the cricket as well. Um, S2E4, I called it. You are a weird person. Glenn Maxwell to Steve Smith <laughs> when he's uh, cutting out the little foam things that sit at the bottom of your uh, – Oh, yeah. That is as tragic as it gets. And we all know exactly what he's doing there because you, you do feel that. And when you bat, you just press it kind of, you know, constantly. Yeah. But he's gone to the trouble of his 50-odd pairs of gloves and he's pulled out um, the left-hand one and replaced it. Slicing it up. And you just see Max Hill in the background playing on the golf simulator going, <laughs> you are a weird <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yes, yes, I am. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's the episode of season four, season two, episode yep. four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else did I have there apart from Smithy's sweatshop? There, I, uh, <laughs> Myr- Myrtle the dog. Um, yeah, Cam, yep. Green. Cam Green's dog. Yep. Going to give that a fine. Uh, needs to work on his fielding uh, in, all, in, all, in all the clips. <laughs> all the clips they showed the dog. They're throwing the ball to him. Could not get a handle on it. So unlike, um, Myrtle, unlike work on uh, its owner. Yeah, <laughs> Cam Green, like an absolute trap in the gully. And what is he? Uh, he came out and um, in one of those tests there and hit seventy odd. Kept him in the yes. game. Said he'd played about two sweep shots in his whole career. Ended up playing about thirty of them. Extraordinary. Uh, made seventy, and uh, the boys are getting him, getting around him after the game. And <laughs> S- Smithy was sitting out there with him and said, "Have yourself a lion." That was the beer they were having over yeah. there. 
have yourself a line. He sounded like he was like, <laughs> I don't know. Sounded like um, <laughs> something else. Something, a something like else, but also sounded like <laughs> from an era, ago, like like he was a cricketer from like the 60s. Have, well, well yeah. batted son, have yourself a whatever. Yeah. Like yeah. Fosters. What's going on there? Anyway, um, good on the, him. The preceding, the, the chat after that from David Warner gave me a good picture of just they're quite a nerdy setup. This eleven, it's just showing. 11. They're interesting, not, aren't they? Not that Worthy many yeah. Yeah. Well, credit where it's due uh, to Chandamar. What a knock they won that series. Australia lost a series, mm. so probably the Amazon producers would have loved Australia to win that one just for the sake of the storyline. But I um, would have thought about doing an episode five after the, the result didn't go away. You drag the series on just so it finishes on a win. That would have been good. Essentially, I liked it because it just Kawaja I think sums it up. Just just when you think. You got a handle on Test cricket. Push, back yeah. it comes. <laughs> yeah. It'll slap you right in the back line. of the head. Yeah. And um, you're staring at the ball, going, "How the hell did we just lose to that Sri Lankan team that had four debutants? I think. Yeah. How four local cricket was that? They didn't even know who no. these blokes were, and they'd never Gosh, seen a bowl or any vision of it. Yep. Very local cricket. That's just you, you know. got Dean Hillis there with 18 laptops about every cricketer yeah. in, the, in in Australia and overseas, and he can't find Joe Sarira on there, and then takes yeah. six for. Yeah. You've got to do your research. Maybe there wasn't um, a lot of uh, content to go on to, mm. to research into those blokes, but find what's it, the what's find the Sheffield it. Shield in Sri Lanka? I don't know. Ranji Trophy of Sri yeah. Lanka. Yeah, what would that be? I don't know, but there's some gems hiding there. There is big bash. Have a look. Correct. Get around them. Uh, so that was the end of the series, basically. In summary, for me, felt like I wanted more. Felt like we were a bit rushed this time around. Yep. In, and you know. That ex- extends to I wanted the series before Australia won the T20 World Cup and I wanted the home loss to India as well. Yep. Um, get you to the Gabba and so forth. Th- those would have been pretty juicy episodes, in my opinion. But um, Overall. Know, can't have it all. Not it bad. Good. Yeah, it was, it was 100% right. worth The sequel was worth it. There's yeah. no doubt about it. I'm Wasn't better than the original. No. It was worth the watch. I, I, yes. The third series will be better Ooh. than the second. A bit doing this year, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Well, it won't be on last summer. That was horrendous. Yeah, but they could leave a bit of that out, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. But the upcoming, upcoming, what's uh, what's ahead in the next few months? Well, the T20 World Cup and then going yeah. into kind of the Ashes maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is going to be a big, big couple of months. Um, obviously, the, the cricket starts tomorrow in mm. India. Nagpur. Um, Thursday, first. check your local gods. Nagpur, 3.30 Australian Eastern uh, Daylight Time. The first ball there. Still haven't had a look at the pitch yet? We have had a look at the pitch. Yeah. There are pictures out. Are I'll pictures. show you these. What I'm seeing from these pictures <laughs> is this this is ten times worse than the sandpaper on the ball. This is because not only is this cheating in terms of doctoring a pitch, what they've done, Flan, is they've watered the entire pitch and at both ends they've left the section on a good length to the left handers outside off stump, not watered. Everything else is watered. <laughs> so this is systematic cheating from the administration level down. Like this isn't just the players, this is the whole organization. Doctoring, altering the conditions of play to suit their team. So that's where I've landed on this today. I don't know if you boys have got any thoughts on this, but that is so rough and I've never seen anything like that anywhere else. Like they, they know we've got a lot of left-handers. Ashwin's going to be coming around the wicket and attacking that. Um, and I reckon it's it's one of the greats. Um, I reckon it's a disgrace, to be honest. Well, I, I haven't personally seen it. You've, you've just yeah. alerted... I'll I was. I look. I was surprised. I mean, here I was sitting here thinking that the Indian creators had prepared a fast, bouncy pitch for the touring Australian team as a gen, as a gesture of goodwill, and instead they had the option to create maybe a dry turning wicket that would suit their subcontinent spinners. But they didn't do that. No, they probably uh, took the opportunity funders <laughs> to create a deck that would favour the opposition. Um, it, it's rubbish, Hammy. That's absolute codswalt. Uh, of course, you're going to prepare a wicket that suits the home team. That's the whole point of touring cricket. If you think you're going to go to India and get the same conditions, you're going to get the Gabba or the Wacker or even the MCG um, in its better forms. Um, you're dreaming, and uh, that's why they call it Test Cricket. If you want to roll that one out again, it's going to be hard work over there, but it will be a wicket that will have everything for both teams. So if you've got spinners in your lineup, they're going to get the fruits of their labour as well. We might have to play. We, we don't have spinners in our lineup. That's cool. Shane is struggling to have pace bowlers as well. Yeah. Um, no Stark, no Hazelwood. Green, green can't, can't bowl. bowl. Yeah. Um, so. He won't play. Yeah, won't play. Won't yeah. play as a bat. I don't think so. So won't play with that big sweep. You don't think you can take on the the likes of Ashwin, Jadeja. So do you play? Do you play three quicks? Patel. Do you play three quicks? Who, you don't have three. Quicks. Mo- Morris gets a debut. Morris, Boland, and Cummins, and then what? Yeah. Line and then line, and then with, you just rely on Hedy and Wrench. Hedy will, will get overs. Hedy will get overs. Ashnagar in the convo. Yeah, I think he's yeah. in the convo. I feel like they're going to put him in instead of Green. 
Yeah, what? I don't think Green will play. Yep. Wow. I don't think they'll play, play him. I reckon they'll put Agar in. And I reckon they're going to go to Pete Hanscom at number six. Wow. Who has got a couple of test tons in the subcontinent. Um, came back into the fray for the SCG test. Horses, of course. And he's a right-hander too. They're going to want a few right-handers given what they've Still served the up there. Yeah. They're not going to want too many lefties. The like, lesson here is probably India didn't have to do anything to the pitch because <laughs> yeah. they could probably beat this 11 on, on a few other ones as well. <laughs> yeah. I thought maybe go with um, Renshaw instead of Agar. I know Agar yeah. more of a bowler, but Renshaw... Yep. Turns it the other way. Um, has has played well in the subcontinent before, Matt. He Renshaw. has. I like yeah. Matt Renshaw. I don't know that his bowling's good enough to get him in the in the chat though. To be honest, I don't think. Yeah. Well, I like your take on the on the eleven, but I, I think they'll be hesitant to make wholesale changes, apart from the ones that have to because of injury. Yeah. So when you've got a good settled thing going, and Cam Green's been batting, in that spot for a while. It's a tough call to like upset more than you already have to. I think the the chat with him was um, he can bat, but he may do damage to his hand that would s- slow down the bowling recovery. Yep. So they might uh, just go, go away, play, play the second test. Fit, essentially. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. So, I don't know. Interesting to see. I've got, ba- I've got a bad feeling about the first test. I reckon our best team's good enough to mix it up over there, but I just reckon... It will be a great series. Yeah. It always is Australia touring India. Good, pretty decent time zone. Um, Very good time. Might be man. a whole lot of work going on out there. Come 3.30 tomorrow, I can tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, TVs, if we can get them working, will be all on 5.01, no doubt. Um, and then just nice roll into the weekend. I'm trying to keep a lid on at the moment, Thunners. I don't yeah. know about you. I'm judging by your Instagram stories, not. Yeah. Um, but I'm just trying to save my Which penny. Which brand so was be... that one for? That I <laughs> Where can I see those stories? Surely you just, you, you're running with something when you go to these weddings. Like you've got to be like just kind of moonlighting with a TikTok work at a wedding. You're like, well, I'm wearing a suit already. I might just snap off this piece of content. Wait, did Kane tell me to do that one? No, nah, it doesn't matter. I'll just do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no, it'll be great. And of course, four tests. Um, I feel like, you know, come to the back end of the series, the Australians might need something, Hammy, to kind of get them over the line. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what we're thinking about that, but um, a little kind of birdie tells me, yeah, apart from a statue <laughs> and um, Scobo, the great man, him, just himself doing, which I think he'll go well, a bit of seam up over yeah. those yeah. legs. They've all done it. Um He's kind of right arm Zahir Khan. Can he get a bit of reverse over yeah, there? Yeah, a bit of Kasprovich. Yep. Maybe. We'll wait and see. Um, it would be, yeah, they might need a little lift in those series, in test matches three and four. So yeah. um, maybe the Grubs have a part to play there. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be good. <laughs> That'd be real nice, actually. Uh, do we want to put a little, um, any little wages or any little tips out there for what we think might happen over the course of the series? Like, I don't know. What do you want to do? Like a little uh, score? Have we got yeah. a correct score up on correct the score. sports bet? Uh, yeah. We've got um, it. Why don't, well, Hammy's trying to find that. Yeah. Um, look, funny you mentioned that Cam Green might not keep his spot because he's, he's 18 bucks to be Aussie's top run scorer. Bit of a it's, a, it's a way out there, especially if you don't think he's going to play the first test. But he's tall, maybe employs the Matthew Hayden sweep tactic that um, gave Hados bucket loads of runs on previous subcontinent tours. Yes. Um, Usman's 450, I think, top run scorer in the first inning, uh, first innings for Australia in Test One. Yep, we've seen that he kind of it leans into those conditions. Yep, uh, can play pace and spin equally very well. That could be a bet. I think India won this wins the series three nil. Three uh, nil. So that would mean Australia no Test uh, Championship final for Australia as well. They need mm. one draw. They need a draw. Oh, yeah. So that, yeah, they would get one in, in that. Oh, thank God. Um, <laughs> Eight dollars you're getting for India three nil. Yep. Yep. Okay. Happy with that. Over to you. Uh, oh, do you want to go? I'm going to go with him um, to, go, babe. to take the most wickets in the first test uh, at five bucks. I like uh, that. I feel like he'll, of, of all the quicks that we've got available in our squad, he's got the uh, most endurance. Uh, so he'll bowl the most overs. Geez, uh, nice little drive by on Pat Cummins there, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, Pat, jock, jock, Pat, Pat Fagan, Fagan, slams Aussie skipper. Pat, Pat, Pat will bowl in bursts, I reckon, and, and Scobo will do the long stint. Yep. Yep. I reckon he'll, uh, yeah, with his uh, consistency, um, with that length and that seam movement off the wicket, yep. uh, hopefully he can get a little bit of that and uh, he, he might pick up a couple in that first test. Yeah. Check my arithmetic. Has he ever played against India? He has not. That would be interesting. Yeah. Yep. That's a great a watch. They haven't had a look at him yet. Yep. What about a series result, Flanners? What do you, what do you like? I'll uh, get the price here for you. Uh, Australia 2-1. Ooh. Yeah, I don't mind Australia 2-1. Also price. getting eight bucks there as well. Yep. I feel like we, I feel like the one Sorry, we lose. Sports, but that's unders. I feel like the, the one we lose is the first one, Flanners. I'm going to go with you on that. The, the bet that I like, I think this is um, 
is, is short, is the favourite for a reason. Ashwin, player of the series, $6.50. Yep. Makes runs, which helps, but also um, obviously he's just going to take a hell of a lot of wickets. They've doctored the pitch for him, so he's got a real <laughs> layup there from the curators and the VCCI. So they've made it easy for him. Six fifty to be player of the series. From Australia, going for at, at a bit of a price there, probably won't happen. I do like Ashwin there, but Usman, player yep. of the series, um, 18 bucks. Uh, great record in the subcontinent in recent, in recent years, yeah. Yep, that's a good bet. Um, I like that. And just a great guy. And looks like he's worked out his game. Hasn't actually played a test in India. Um, Amazing. But he's played a lot in other um, subcontinent areas. He's and, confident. And well. He's loving the leadership role. Yep. He's batting well. Form of his life. Yep. Doesn't age is just a number. That's right. Um, that's a very good. That's a good find there, Hammy. One issue for him is left hander, and uh, yep. you can you can basically scratch out the first game because it's, it's been <laughs> doctored out of his favour. So, um. and obviously, if it works in Nagpur, they're definitely not going to do it in the second test uh, in Delhi. Yeah. Yes, Delhi's the, the second one. Yep. Yeah, yep. it, might, it might work against them that doctor in the pitch. You'd never know what uh, Lion and Agar got up their sleeve. That's it. That's, that was the point I was making. You just made it better than me, Flannis. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll wait and see. Well, that's it. I think for today that was the end of that series. Good series. Go and watch it if you haven't watched it already. But um, you're probably going to have a fair bit on your plate in terms of watching the TV over the next few weeks because Australia versus India it is special. It's good and it's coming. It's a perfect time in the sporting calendar. Yep. Tennis is done. The cricket's done. Forty hasn't, Forty hasn't started. started. This is just fill your boots on the couch sort of territory. Go the Tom, Australia. The Tom Come Flanagan on. treatment. Come on, Australia. Come on. Go, oh, Scotty. Somebody give that. And, and post it on the sports bet channels for God's sake. Not one of the competitors. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you, team. Boys, well done. Flanagan's going. Good luck finding your hat. Look forward to that as well. Uh, Rambo, excellent from you. Good job, always. mate. Uh, gamble responsibly. Enjoy the cricket. And we'll hopefully catch you very soon. Forget your subs. 